they live a normal life. I was raised by the state. Hip hop legend Coolio, the man that once lit up the charts with massive hits like Gangster's Paradise and Fantastic Voyage, has died at the age of 59. Born Artis Ivy Jr. on August 1st, 1963 in Monison, Pennsylvania, which is just south of Pittsburgh. Coolio moved to Compton, California as a kid and then spent his teenage years growing up in the northern part of the state, where his mother sent him after realizing that Compton was far too dangerous of a place for her son to spend his childhood. In past interviews, Coolio has suggested that he first became a fan of hip hop after hearing Freedom by Grandmaster Flash in The Furious Five. He was captivated by the flow of rapper Melly Mel and would do his best to imitate that iconic style when he first started rapping at the age of 15. Within three years, Coolio says that he knew that hip hop was what he wanted to do with his life, but he'd wind up attending Compton Community College and working as a volunteer firefighter and as security at LAX before devoting himself to his true passion. But that digression has not without its benefits. In fact, becoming a firefighter wound up saving Coolio from falling too heavily into the drug scene, and he once told the Los Angeles Times in 1994, I wasn't looking for a career, I was looking for a way to clean up a way to escape the drug thing. It was going to kill me and I knew I had to stop. In firefighting training was discipline I needed. We ran every day. I wasn't drinking or smoking or doing stuff that I usually did. Once he had control over his habits, his rap career blossomed in the 80s and he found himself immediate fame in the underground scene performing as Coolio, a handle that he adopted after a conversation with a friend who asked him, who do you think you are, Coolio Iglesias? Turns out that's exactly who he thought he was. And after cutting his first single, What You Gonna Do, and getting it played at a local hip hop station, Coolio connected with Dub C and The Mad Circle and contributed to their 1991 debut album, Ain't a Damn Thing Changed. Now, with more exposure than ever, Coolio signed a solo deal with Tommy Boy Records in 1994 and then released his debut album, It Takes a Thief. That project would be catapulted by its lead single, Fantastic Voyage, to the top of the Billboard Hot 200 chart, peaking at the number eight spot before going certified platinum. And while Fantastic Voyage may have been the song that put Coolio on the map, he wouldn't blow up until the following year with the release of the seminal Gangsta's Paradise. The song is a cultural staple and Coolio's biggest hit song of all time was a single from the 1995 film Dangerous Minds, starring Michelle Pfeiffer as an ex-Marine who becomes a teacher working on a pilot program for bright but underachieving teenagers in a tough inner city school. The haunting track that Coolio would fashion for it samples the Stevie Wonder song Pastime Paradise for its course song that Coolio was not all that familiar with at the time, despite the fact that Wonder's 1972 album, Music of My Mind, was the very first record that Coolio ever bought. So, bit of a full circle moment. He explained the Rolling Stone, so it was kind of weird that I didn't know the song. I went back inside my manager's house to use the toilet before I rolled out, and that's when I heard the track. I walked into the studio and asked Doug, wow, whose track is that? Doug said, oh, it's something I'm working on. I said, well, it's mine. The resulting single, Gangsta's Paradise, would become Coolio's biggest hit of all time, growing his star to gigantic proportions and winning him a Grammy while staying at the number one spot on the Billboard charts for three weeks straight. Even today, in the age of streaming, the song has continued to live on, and in July of 2022, it reached a massive milestone by achieving one billion views on YouTube. It, it, it entered into my body and I just I wrote it, and I recorded it, and it was done, and I reckon you picked yeah. up the signal on your hair. So, yeah, uh, yeah, you know, my, you know. And straight um, to I the am, arm and onto I, I the am, uh, I am connected. The legacy and cultural impact of Gangsta's Paradise would become wide-reaching. It even inspired a parody song by Weird Al Yankovic known as Amish Paradise. Initially, Coolio objected to this comedic take on his hit, but in the years to follow, he'd admit that he made a mistake in reacting so harshly, and he made amends with Weird Al. And while Coolio would never again have a song nearly as big as Gangsta's Paradise, he had further hits with 1996's 123, Something New, and 97's See You When You Get There. His career totaled 4.8 million album sales along with 978 million on-demand streams of his music, according to Luminate. He was also nominated for a total of six Grammy Awards. As his commercial success in music faded, Coolio transitioned into becoming a TV personality, placing third on a German talent show involving artists looking to make a comeback in 2004 and popping up in Celebrity Big Brother in 2009. I appreciate it because that's the most flattering thing someone can yeah, do yes, is to imitate yeah. someone else, okay? It's the most flattering thing you can do to someone is imitate them. And then you had a dickhead up yours. Yes. Food was also a huge passion in Coolio's later life. He'd release a cookbook in 2009 called 
cooking with Coolio and compete on the Food Network series Rachel vs. Guy, celebrity cook-off in 2012, ultimately placing second. Well, I'm no joke in the kitchen. You I'm, are, are you? I'm no joke. I, I don't play around. <laughs> I'm the ghetto gourmet, baby. <laughs> <laughs> My cooking show is called Cooking with Coolio. Today, I am going to show you how to get your kids. He even had his own short-lived reality series on Oxygen called Coolio Rules, which ran throughout 2008. Of course, Coolio didn't leave his music career behind completely. In fact, he was active in the scene right up until his death, touring with other 90s stars including Vanilla Ice and Young MC, with all three of them having performed in Texas as recently as a few days ago. He was always ready to hit the stage no matter what, even on something off the beaten path as daytime Irish talk TV. This hilarious clip from the mid-2000s shows him performing next to an Irish production crew after the television station booked him by mistake, confusing him for his namesake, Julio Iglesias. In a sense, that little moment more or less sums up Julio's life in a nutshell, a professional who is willing to do whatever it took to entertain others. And now, we'll never get to experience his unique brand of energy again. On Wednesday, September 28, 2022, Julio's longtime manager, Jerez, says that the rapper went into the bathroom at a friend's house, but then failed to re-emerge after an extended period of time. His friend tried calling out for him, but when there was no response, they eventually entered and found Julio lying on the floor. The Los Angeles Fire Department and paramedics then responded to a call on 2900 block of South Chesapeake Avenue at 4 p.m. local time. When they arrived, they found Julio to be unresponsive and performed resuscitation efforts on him for approximately 45 minutes to no avail. Julio was pronounced dead just before 5 p.m. The official cause of death has not yet been determined, but reports suggest that paramedics on the scene believe that Coolio passed away from a heart attack. Coolio's talent manager, Sheila Finnegan, would send out a statement that read in part, we are saddened by the loss of our dear friend and client Coolio, who passed away this afternoon. He touched the world with the gift of his talent and will be missed profoundly. His friends and associates would also take to social media to express their remorse over what happened like rapper Vanilla Ice, who responded with absolute shock, especially considering he had just been performing with Coolio only a few days ago. Even Weird Al Yankovic would share a photo of the two men hugging out their differences with the caption, R.I.P. Coolio. And then there was Michelle Pfeiffer, who penned a touching tribute to the artist on Instagram, going so far to his claim that he was the very reason Dangerous Minds found so much success. Needless to say, the outpouring of love for Coolio has been tremendous, and we have before their famous want to send out our own thoughts and prayers to the six children Coolio is survived by. He was a generational artist who left a mark on the hip-hop scene that will never be forgotten. Rest in peace up there in Gangsta's Paradise Coolio, you deserve it more than most. Thank you everybody for watching today's episode, please take a moment to leave your thoughts on Coolio's career and life in the comments down below. And once you're finished with that, like, subscribe, and turn on your notifications, all that good stuff. One more time, RIP to Coolio, my name's Clyde Smith, and I'll see you guys in another video.